men with men walked by themselves singly, and singly in themselves by confess of their error, which was necessary. So you see, as a penalty, this is why we have this HIV in the world today. It is as a result of homosexuality. Men meeting with men. I said, okay, that's what you want to do, go and do it. But you will pay a price. See? That price is a terrible, incurable disease. So that recompense of the error. That was the recompense, the reward of the error. That's the gay plague. So anybody that tells you homosexuality is okay, come and show them this passage. Romans 1 27. And God says, the men living in natural use of the women, born plus one to another, lost one to another, men with men walking by which is unseemly. If it's normal, why the Bible says unseemly? And many Christians, even pastors, are gay. We Bible are there really. Romans 1 27. Yeah. Likewise, also the men living the nature, use of the woman. One in their lust, lust for one another. Yeah. Men with men committing what is shameful. Mm -hmm. I will say shameful. The penalty mm -hmm. of their errors, yes. which was due. Uh -huh. The penalty which was due. You see? When you do something which is bad, there's always a penalty. The same thing if something good as a reward. So you remember that God is not mocked. Whatever we sow, we reap. If you're sowing into unrighteousness and evil, eventually you have to pay a price for it. You have to pay a price for it. And even as they did not like to retain God in that knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Things are shameful. You see, look at America of today. They kick God out of their schools. They say nobody must mention the name of Jesus. They don't want Bible in schools. That was about 30 years ago. Now, they are receiving the reward, the penalty of that act. Children are taking guns to school, killing each other. Even a few days ago, a boy was in school and killed two people. The person he killed was trying to save the lives of others and he shot him. You know? This is the result. Well, they, well, they sold them, they were very happy then. They didn't know that they were going to be ripping it now. So always note, don't think uh, you can escape. If you sow evil, it's going to grow and you're going to reap that evil. Just like you sow good, you bear fruits. So now it goes on. So since they didn't like to keep going that knowledge, give them a reproof. Every mind is a, is a perverted mind. Now see the results of the perverted mind. Filled with all unrighteousness. Remember the time of Sodom and, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, the time of Lot. Said their hearts were filled with evil continually. They never thought of anything good. Said Satan is the father of lies, and his nature, as we just said, he cannot tell the truth. Satan cannot tell the truth. By his nature, he can only tell a lie. So whatever Satan tells you, you know that for sure it's going to be a lie. So unrighteousness, fornication. So anybody who is fornicating has a perverted, reprobate mind. Perverted mind, wickedness, covetousness. If you are covetous, wanting what God has not given you, not satisfied with what God has given you, lost after another man's wife, property, or whatever, you have a perverted mind. Maliciousness, that means thinking evil of another person. Full of envy, envy is a perverted, is a perverted mind. Murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, and backbiters, haters of God. They hate God. Wow, if you mention the name of Jesus, you will not, people will look at you as if there's something wrong with you. Why do we mention the name of Jesus in public gathering? Proud, despiteful, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. That's what we see nowadays. Children to their parents, they have no respect. They many children beat their parents off and they don't realize that there's hundreds. Result of a perverted mind. Inventors of evil things without understanding. 